great Lao Tzu once said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Sometimes you need to transit before you can start to travel. That single step for us is the English Channel, and we cross that at Dover. That's where our journey begins, and that is where our story begins. Oh, that cold, quite bad. Well, it's not cold for Mark. Mark, why is it not cold for you, mate? I've got six layers on. <laughs> six layers. So yeah, we're at Dover. It's day one, sort of. We, we took down last night, stopped over early morning this morning. And we've already started to change plans, actually. Uh, the plan was initially to straight line it pretty much down to Switzerland and then get to the Balkans, just sort of nip into the top of Italy. But weather has definitely made an impact. So the plan, if, if we go through Germany today, it's gonna to be a day full of, or an afternoon of riding in the rain, followed by a full day tomorrow of riding through thunderstorms. Although there's only, is it 90% chance tomorrow, only a 90% chance tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's like a 90% chance, so we might get away with it of heavy thunderstorms. <laughs> so, we decided we're gonna basically travel down to the south of France today, which should keep us in the sort of sunshine, get to the bottom of the uh, Swiss Alps, and then just truck east. So that's the plan. So, um, once we get onto the ferry, we, it's going to be a straight run south, bearing pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I was updating Instagram. And so France came and went. This was travel, transit, not adventure. And unfortunately, that costs. Today's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. Yesterday was expensive, and we can't afford to do that. Uh, trucks all the way through France, plus a ferry crossing, several tolls, and about six, five or six fuel stops totaled about 200 quid. We couldn't do that every day, because that's just one day out. So the main priority for the rest of the trip is gonna be cheap. It has to be as cheap as we can make it, while still being an enjoyable adventure. That's the objective. Just pulled up in Switzerland. The plans changed hour on hour this, this um, today. We were gonna go to Germany, and then we thought Italy, and we started going to Germany, got a little bit lost when we stopped for fuel. We've ended up in Switzerland, just outside Liechtenstein. So Jamie's just busy looking for a campsite. We really enjoyed this way of just approaching it. Like, where does the wind take us as long as it's in that general direction? Um, and it's also kept the prices down because we stayed off the motorway, all the tolls, obviously, and stayed at 60, which returns crazy MPG on the little CRF. So it's a plan that is working really well for us so far. That. Yeah, this is actually weird. Most of the, the proper adventure starts. We've got a great plan for some cheap breakfast. We bought some cheese last night from a vending machine, and there's a baguette making machine just over by the entrance to the cool. camp. So it warms the dough up as you there. So yeah, looking forward to taking you through all the beautiful scenery and everything else today. Yeah, we can ride some motorbikes at an Alp and see what happens. Well, gonna put this in my bag. So, right, we'll go and collapse the tents, get on the road, and we'll see you in a mountain, probably. Well, this is mega. We're what? in the Alps. On an Alp. We're on an Alp, in lots of snow, and if you could see, a massive cloud inversion on the Alps. So it's pretty cold, but pretty mega race. It's bright. <laughs> the sun's warm, but it's cold. It's freezing, uh, but beautiful. It's absolutely glorious. Now, we've ended up We've, we've been following a few tracks, not tracks, that's wrong, roads. We've been following the Garmin, and it kept trying to put on, a, put on a train for some reason. So we've kind of ignored Mr. Garmin, picked a road, and it's got very snowy quite quickly, which is awesome. It was awesome, yeah. Whoop. Just um, fell off a snow ledge. <laughs> but, uh, but what we are hoping is that it's not tried to take us a different route because the road's closed but we'll find that out. We'll find it out. There's other cars and bikers yeah. going up there. So we've got to cross the Alps. We've got to go higher and snowier and we'll capture that for you. Absolutely. Are you enjoying the roads, Mucka? It's incredible. So we did a bit of um, did a bit of snowy mountain pass earlier on, which you've probably already seen. I was expecting a lot more, but actually, 
we've done a lot of valleys and a lot of sort of riding through these trees and conifer conifers and stuff. And it's been pretty epic, to be honest. Uh, I think we went through the Dolomites, but don't quote me on that because I don't really know. <laughs> the roads have been busier than I was anticipating, <laughs> yeah. but still some incredible riding. We must have done 150 miles of twisty roads, by by which I mean there's very few sort of straights for overtaking even. <clears throat> yeah, we've, we've done, not done tracks today. Today's been a road day and we we consciously did that. That's what we wanted to do. Uh, to be honest, when the roads are this nice and the scenery, you don't need to be off-road, I don't think. Yeah. Um, You've almost crashed three times, haven't you? I have almost crashed. crashed Looking at times. things, because it is that <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you nearly rode into a post and into a car because you were looking at beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and we've uh, we've taken about seven wrong turnings because we've not been looking at the navigation. <laughs> just been, just been looking at mountains. It's um, do, do you know what? It's, it's, a, it's great if you've not done it. Come and have a little play around here. It's such a lovely place. Yeah, the Alps really is, is uh, an absolute must do. We've still got 80 odd miles to do today. That'll uh, ditch us into northern Italy on the border of Bordia, or the border <laughs> of Slovenia. Um, yeah, exciting. And then the dirt tracks start, we hope. Quick Twix, bit of water, and then we're out of here. Just checking out some tyre wear. Oh, if you're looking at my little blue microphone, you get to do a uh, battle damage repair on that. It lost its little black thing, so this is a bit of seat foam. So it's now a microphone. It's a microphone, yeah. We're just checking out the tyre wear. We've done maybe, I don't know, 12, 1500 kilo, uh, kilometres. The tyres don't even look like they've worked, but they're and, and they feel amazing on these twisty roads. I don't know how they're going to feel on trails. I guess that's the whole point of trying something. That's a bit of sugar. Do you know what? These, if you can hear me, these roads are incredible. We've just been grinning all the way along here. It's probably some of the, the nicest riding that I've done. I mean, if you've never been to the Alps, then do you know what? Come along, you can ride these roads, they are incredible. Very quickly, night gives way today. And we cross the border into Italy. So what's happening, man? Well, I uh, don't know, really. So it's uh, about quarter past nine at night. Uh, we've tried several sort of campsites because we've headed south from the, uh, from the Alps and they're all closed. So we're hungry. I'm going to get some food and then figure out what happens from there. Yeah, campsites close at around about half seven in Italy. So, we don't know where we're going to kip, but we're hungry. And if it's a 10 o'clock sorting something out, then say la vie. That's French. So, because we're in Italy, pizza. And I think this is going to be the one here if they let two smelly, hairy bikers in, in full bike gear. <laughs> Feels weird walking in in bike gear where everybody else is dressed up nice for holiday. <laughs> yeah, because it's a holiday area. But uh, right, let's see what we can sort out here. There's a birthday party behind us. We've just cracked. Everyone's nicely dressed up and celebrating something. The food looks incredible. We've managed to point at things on a menu and order two pizzas by the looks of it. So, it's cool. We think it's legal, but I don't know. Okay, so we found somewhere. Um, Actually, it's the edge of a camper van park thing. So we're, uh, this is where we're gonna be for the night. Can't find anywhere else. I'll do. We're gonna camp here anyway. This is what's happening. And there's a man looking at us out of his camper van. So I don't know because we're not cool camper vanners. <laughs> there's, two, there's two people looking at us through camper vans. 
so um, no camping apparently, we've just been told off uh, that it's not allowed. It's a camper van only campsite and that's why we're getting looked at funny. So onward to somewhere else. What's going on man? Well we got told off by an angry German lady in um, the camper van place. So we were just about to find a wild pitch and we've come across this, well, looks like an ideal campsite. So a mere five minutes down the road. So we've got the penthouse suite, we're gonna go and camp. Craziness. It's amazing, we, um, we chatted to Ben King, I don't know if you might have followed some of his stuff, but uh, his philosophy is smile at the universe and the universe smiles back and so you know what, we've, made, we've had a smile on our face because we've done some great riding today, but it's kind of coming through, isn't it? The idea of just life will work itself out. So an hour ago, we were sat having a beer and a pizza, and now we're in what looks like an idyllic campsite after getting a slight telling off. But <laughs> that'll do, won't it? <laughs> oh, you had to get that out, didn't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was going to kill you doing something. What are we talking about? So what happens today, buddy? So today is the end of travelling, really. The end of getting down to the Balkans. We are on the coastal uh, area of Italy and we're about to jump into what we hope is the real part of the adventure. So Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, all of these places. Um, we need an executive meeting now over a coffee or something to decide exactly what the next move is. And it might be a random point in Bosnia, I think. Yeah, we quite fancy getting to a, like a Bosnian village thing, meeting some authentic people rather than the holiday feel of, I mean, we're on the Italian coast at the moment, which is beautiful. But it feels holiday-ish. Well, it does because there's holiday people. Yeah. Even though it's not been a holiday for us, it's just been travel. But yeah, it's not adventure yet. It's travel, I suppose. It's been a holiday resort. Yeah, yeah we've travelled for three days. So now we adventure, we hope. Right. 